Hi and welcome to Data Garden. Thanks for checking out my video. I hope you're doing very well. In today's video, we want to do an extension to the multiple lines in one plot tutorial with ggplot that uh, we have discovered in one of the recent videos. And in the comments of that video, one of you has asked the question if it's possible to also put a legend onto this plot because uh, yeah, there are multiple um, multiple lines with different colors and then uh, yeah it would indeed be nice to have a legend in the plot and uh, yeah in the original plot I have solved it in this way that uh, it's in the axis label uh, but yeah today we're going to discover how to do the same plot but uh, with the legend in addition uh, as an additional element so let's get right into it and um, create a new R file. So we we'll click new file R script. And we are going to, I'm going to clear my console first with uh, control and L. And then um, we're going to use the command library ggplot2 to load the ggplot package. And then we're going to use uh, load the longly data frame. Okay, so uh, I'm going to skip over the content of the data frame uh, for this tutorial. If you're interested in uh, what the different columns uh, contain, then um, please check out the first couple of minutes of the previous tutorial. So um, maybe if you've seen the last tutorial, then I have mentioned, then you remember that I've mentioned that there are several ways to uh, set up the base for the plot. And this time we're going to use the slightly shorter version where we define the data and the mapping of the x-axis um, in the main ggplot command so that we save a little bit of text in the following lines of code. So let's start with the command ggplot. And uh, remember, in the last tutorial, we just left that empty and we defined all the parameters within the elements, the unique elements of the plot. This time, we want to define the common parameters right here before we add any of uh, any elements to the plot. So it would be um, data equals longly, comma, and then the mapping. We can, of course, not um, identify all of the mapping yet, but it will be uh, a static mapping and x will be the variable year. Now, notice that we cannot define the y, y variable here because the y variable, we, uh, it will be different for each element of the plot. So after that, um, Actually, let's quickly uh, run this command just like it is uh, so that you can uh, see what happens then. And as you can see, we have an empty plot with the uh, year on the x axis, but it's missing all the elements. And that is uh, basically how it always works in ggplot is that you first define the, so to say, the canvas for the plot, and then you add the elements. And that's what we're going to do now with a plus sign. And then we're going to create a new row or a new line rather. And the command that we need is once again the geom line command. And uh, now, of course, we have already defined the data source and the um, mapping for the x axis. So we only have to define the mapping of the y axis here. So we once again type mapping equals AES and then in brackets um, y equals armed.forces which um, is a column that we have already been using the last time and now here comes the big difference to um, to what we've been doing the last time because last time we have um, manually selected the colors in which we want to display um, want to display the graph. This time what we're going to do is we're going to make the color the dependent variable on what is being displayed. So 
what we do is within this AES command, we type comma and then we define color equals and it will also be armed forces. Now, what you will have to do is actually, uh, I think it, uh, for it to properly work, you have to put it in um, quotation marks. Otherwise, with the color command, it's not going to work properly. And uh, yeah, what this will do is it will take the variable name as a reference point for the definition of the color. Now, once again, we will do the same with the uh, geom point um, command. So we type plus, and then let's quickly just copy and paste this uh, line of code and um, yeah, paste it in the next line. And all we do is we change the geom line for geom point. And um, yeah, at this point, I guess we can already uh, run the command again. And as you can see, we now have a single line plot, and here's the uh, um, the legend next to it already. And now we can proceed to uh, create the second uh, line with uh, the dots as well for the unemployed number. So uh, we type plus, and then again geom line and then in the um, brackets we type mapping equals aes and then in another pair of brackets y equals unemployed unemployed yes and color also equals unemployed and yeah that has to be in quotation marks again and then we do the same thing again, where we copy the line and we paste it and change the geom line to a geom point. So now our plot is almost finished. I think we can already let it run like this. But there are two things missing. If you remember the um, in the last time, we still had the titles added, and maybe we also want to change the color of the graph. Last time I had it as blue and orange, and I guess um, we also want to check how to change the color now, because uh, it will not work anymore if you change it in these commands. At least I don't think it will work. Um, so yeah, let's first add another command for the. Um, for the labels, and uh, yeah, that will be labs equals, and then uh, yeah, we can add um, x title, which would be year, um, sorry, it's not like uh, labs equals, but labs in brackets, x equals year, comma, y equals um, let's say variables or rather amount and title equals armed forces and number of unemployed uh, number of unemployment in the USA. And then finally, after that command, we can add another plus, and that is where the um, colorization comes in. And um, yeah, I guess this will be the first time that we're working with colorization in um, like with systematic uh, color schemes in ggplot. So I guess that uh, I should take a moment to explain it. So there are several ways how you can colorize a chart and it mostly depends on whether you have discrete variables or continuous variables. In this case, 
because the color is dependent on the type, we're talking about um, discrete variables here. So we could use um, scale color discrete, for example. I think that would work. But um, we want to define the color manually. So we will use scale color manual. Is there a typo there? No, I think it's fine. Um, and then we can define the colors. But uh, before we do that, as an alternative, if you had, for example, a chart with continuous variables, then you could also use scale color continuous or possibly depending on what you want to colorize, also scale fill continuous. So um, these are the ways that you can use to add some different schemes of color to your uh, ggplot um, graphic or chart. But for now, um, yeah, what we want to do is uh, we want to define which value gets which colors, and we do that by typing values equals, and then we define a simple vector with the C command, and we type in there, I'm going to copy paste it actually, uh, it all has to be in quotation marks, so armed forces equals, um, I guess we had that in blue, and then comma, and I'm going to copy the unemployed command, and that equals orange. So it has to look like this, scale color manual, and then the first opening bracket, values equals, and then the C command and the second opening bracket, and then you define as the first component of this vector, we define armed forces equals blue and unemployed equals orange and all of these values have to be in quotation marks and then the two closing brackets and yeah with that we are done with the plot so let's press run and there you see indeed um, we have recreated um, the same plot from last time, except that we have added a legend to it, so it's now on the um, on the right of the graph. I guess uh, one thing that I'm now thinking of spontaneously is maybe uh, you would want to change the legend position as well, and you can do that by adding another plus element here, and then you have to type seam, and then um, an opening bracket, and then you will get a whole bunch of uh, things that you can uh, change about the theme. Uh, maybe I recommend that you um, look it up in the help file as well if you have some uh, time on your hands. But now I guess we want to change uh, legend dot uh, position equals, and then I guess we can type here bottom for example. Let that run again. And yeah, there's our legend now at the bottom. And um, yeah, as you can see, uh, it uh, shows properly which color is associated with which line of the plot. So uh, as you can see, it's a rather simple extension to the plot that we have already made. We have also made it a little, a uh, little bit more simple this time by defining the common variables in here. As a side note, um, I haven't tested this out this time, but uh, it should be possible also if you create a, let's say, long data set out of this uh, data set where all the y values are in one column and then the color, um, or rather the variable name is in a second column. Um, then you should also be able to do it by creating here a mapping for the color and then you can save yourself a little bit of work as well. But um, yeah, like I said, uh, I haven't tested this out in a long time. Um, but yeah, it would maybe be something that you can experiment with for yourself. 
Uh, so yeah, I hope you have found this helpful as an extension. If you have and you want to see more videos of this type, then uh, consider subscribing to the channel because I'm uploading a new video at least every couple of weeks. Um, if you have any questions uh, for this tutorial or for RStudio or ggplot in general, then you can leave them down in the comments. Um, that is also true if you have recommendations for a topic which uh, would maybe be interesting to be covered in the future. And um, yeah, if you found the video helpful, then you might also want to recommend it to a friend who would also benefit from uh, this type of knowledge. So I hope I can uh, see you next time in the next video. Till then, uh, have a great time and bye bye.